crazy times. Next year we we, we move over. Uh, you know, we're gonna move to uh, Memorial Day weekend for four days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is our Memorial Day weekend. So, yeah, something to look forward to. Uh, we'll see where this thing, this crazy thing, takes us. So, when I was thinking about PaizoCon, and I, of course, on my mind, I had our guest, uh, our gaming guest of honor, Frank Menser. And I remember a, a story, and so back when I was, before I was in this game industry, it was the early 80s, and I was just getting started in RPGA, and uh, those of you who play Pathfinder Society know how addicting it gets, and you basically start going to every convention you can possibly get to. And so back in those days, my friends and I, we, we travel all over Wisconsin. And there was a, a in southern Wisconsin, there was a, a guy who would put out conventions, kind of Keith Polster. And, and Keith put on a lot of little conventions, and he had a lot of connections to TSR. So if you went to any of Polster cons, we used to call them, um, you would end up running into a lot of the people whose names you saw in, in Dragon and Dungeon. Um, and so one of these conventions, I remember, um, after we'd gamed all day, and then after we had done the raw liver toss, um, you guys do that here, right? Raw liver toss? Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Mike was at this con, because this is when I first met Mike Selinger, was at this exact convention. And uh, after all the, the gaming was done, we, had, we all kind of were hanging around the bar. I remember sitting around, and Frank was there, and he was kind of holding court, you know, and in the bar. We were all sitting around asking him questions. What's it like to work at TSR? Um, you know, what's it like to work on D&D, you know, what's it like to work on Greyhawk, and, and, and I remember just sitting there and him just spending all his time telling stories about all these products we knew about, and, 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 and you know, giving us like the inside scoop, and, and for me, as a gamer, that was when that first spark first started me going, I would love to work in this game industry. This would be so much fun to be sitting there making games like this. And, you know, and it took me a while longer. I had a diversion to try to go to grad school and, and be a marine biologist, and that didn't work out. But and it was only until I had the opportunity for my friends Jonathan Tweet and Mark Reinhagen to start a company called Lion Rampant up in Minnesota that I actually got into the game industry. But it was talking to Frank that kind of got that whole first little spark and, and, and that first desire and led me to writing articles for Polyhedron Magazine and, 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 and eventually Dragon and then finally getting into the game industry. So, Frank, thank you for uh, sparking my whole career. <laughs> and now, to spark the rest of your evening, it's Mr. Eric Mona! <laughs> Uh, and thank you, Frank. Um, one of the great things about PaizoCon is getting to see all of you guys playing the games, but one of the things for me that I always find really gratifying and exciting about PaizoCon is it's an opportunity to oh. see uh, my fellow colleagues on the Paizo staff getting